This channel needs something new, something fresh, something to bring Minecraft back into the limelight. That's where the theme comes in. I'm a hobbit, but I haven't had my adventure. This series will help me do just that. I used MCA to place a copy of Mount Doom a hundred thousand blocks away from where we are in Hobbiton. I must take my ring the distance to destroy it in the fiery inferno, even though I'm dressed as Bilbo? This series will be like no other, except maybe a, a simple walk into Mordor and Farlands or Bust, except I'll actually reach my goal. This is the 100,000 block journey. Now let's go. Hey, what is up guys? Trex here. Welcome back to another episode of the 100,000 block journey. When we left off, we were um, here in this little hobbit hole, just cooking up some pork chops, and yeah, um... So, this is day 20, which means that at the end of the day, we get to press F3 and see how far we have come. So, I am pretty excited for that. My expectation is, um, or my, my estimate is that we will be at 42,000, because, um, we were, uh, we got... We were a day ahead of schedule at one point, and so if we've kept that up, that will be great. So hopefully we'll be at 42,000 by the end of today. So, um, and day 20, so if we walk an average of 2,000 blocks an episode, we should be at around 40,000 blocks. So, yeah, hopefully you can see my maths. Um, we, we're going along the x-axis, but all the previous times I've checked, um... I've pressed F3, the y-axis has been in the negative thousands, so it needs to be at minus 5, because that's that was the uh, z, at z point, um, that was the z at which Mount Doom is located, which we started off from the Shire, and at which I placed Mount Doom, as I said, but, see, I'm also, I'm heading east and slightly, I'm, whatever way we're going, um, yeah, so I'm heading slightly to the right whenever I head east, um, because I need to make up that dif that difference in the z-axis. And at the end of the day, uh, at the end of today, we'll be able to press F3 and see how far we have come, and see how much farther along the z-axis we need to go um, before we can just head in a straight line. Oh, come on! Oh, come back! Yeah, boats need to be fixed so that you can like they don't go away whenever you dismantle them. Because that's kind of annoying. I think that if you're close enough to land, you can dismount them. But it's impossible to get up to land because they're so fragile now and they just break whenever. Um, got our ring of power. We have sting still. Uh, so we are good to continue adventuring. Um, so let's just continue walking. You guys have submitted some questions for me this episode. Not as many as the usual episode, but that's completely fine. At least I still have the questions. Um... So yeah, I, I'm I'm so sorry about the about how the schedule is right now, guys. How uh, the, the previous five videos have been two person architect and uh, three hundred thousand block journeys, including this one. Um, I'm really tr I I really tried to get a trex place. I just didn't have time, but I will get a trex place out this Saturday. Um, I'm gonna try as hard as I can. I'm extremely busy, but I should have time because I've got a few hours. I've got some time between my the end of my the end of one event that I have and the start of another, so I'll I'll really try and get the Trex plays out. But yeah, I'm, my schedule is just super packed right now. And Terraria, um, episode one hundred. I'm hoping is going to be sometime next week. It 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 um, it's going to be an hour long, and I just have to think of an hour's worth of things to do so that we can fulfill that time and I've got some some ideas um, like killing every boss that we fought along the way um, and stuff like that so we'll, we'll see how that goes every boss and event that we fought um, also we will see how um, it, what else we can do um, I'll probably do a world tour as well. We have an entire hour to fill, so I'll probably do some bosses, uh, as many boss kills as I can. Uh, a world tour, um, probably, and and then I'll do some awesome 
trick thing at the end uh, to celebrate 100 episodes that I'll wire up. Um, and it, it should be pretty cool. I'm gonna try to make it grand and stuff. But but I, I still have to plan all this out. I'll see how how things are going. So anyways, yes. Um, sorry about how the schedule is. I'll really try and get get used to guys some stuff. Um, tomorrow will be an episode of Terraria, but it'll be Terraria Living Underground. It won't be episode 100, and I've got to make that episode, like, tonight or something. So, yeah, um, I'm so sorry. Thank you guys for being patient with the videos. I, I've noticed that the views have gone down on 100,000 Block Journey and Personal Architect because they've been the only videos, and I'm completely fine with that. I'll get you guys your Terraria as soon as possible. So anyways, on to the questions. Uh, number one, David Lyons tells me to do 100th episode of Terraria soon, please. Yes, as I said, it will be hopefully sometime next week. Um, it's just going to take a while to record, and I've got so many things I need to do in it that it's just going to take time. Uh, now we have three questions from uh, Games with Warcraft. Number one, he says, I need your clothes, your boots, and your bike. Hmm. Okay, um, well, in my quest for Sarah Jane, I, I, I'm also hunting for her, so I can't offer you my clothes, my, what was it, boots, and my bike, but I know a guy, he lives in a shady part of town, there's a lot of, like, methodics and people that drive Priuses around there, um, it's also in Florida, but he's got an old an old rust bucket bike. It's a uh, old Harley Davidson, um, and I know so, uh, there's a Goodwill nearby where you can buy some cheap clothes and some boots probably. But yeah, if, I'm sorry I can't give you my clothes um, and boots and my bike. But you, 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 all you need to do is just hunt around a little, and you'll be able to find whatever you seek. Um, we need to kill these piggies for their delicious, delicious meats. Um, because we don't want to run low on food, because that, that would not be very, very fun at all. Number two, he says, will you be back? I'll be back. Yes. Um, uh, I'll be back. I'll be back. He's just saying Terminator questions, in case you don't get that. Um, uh, so, yes, I'll be back. Um, hasta, hasta la vista, baby. I believe that's Terminator. That might be something else. Is get to the chopper. Uh, Terminator. I can't remember. Um, I haven't seen Terminator, actually. I just know the quotes. Mostly. I need to watch Terminator sometime. Um, but yeah. Number three. Is there a troll in the dungeon? I believe this is a reference to Harry Potter and Professor Quirrell bursting into the dining hall, uh, claiming that there's a troll in the dungeon. So, yes, there's a troll in the dungeon. We need to clear all the students away, except for Harry Potter, and have him face the troll, even though he's the only one that can possibly save us from Lord Voldemort. And if he dies any time before he confronts Voldemort, we're all going to get screwed by the Death Ears. Um, so, yes, send, send Harry Potter and his ginger friend and that smart girl who's the best student we've ever had. Yeah, so, send the... So the only hero who can save the world, and the smartest student Hogwarts has ever had, except for maybe um, that student that was smart, Lily Evans. She was pretty smart. Uh, Snape was pretty smart, if I recall. Um, and Slughorn was he a student or was he just a professor? Um, yeah. So. In, in that ginger kid, there's too many Weasleys already. It's fine if he if he dies or 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 not. But yeah, reduce reduce the population. Anyways, um, so yes, okay, serious questions. Uh, he has number one. Can I? Okay, no questions at all. I'll be back later if I figure out any. So yeah, um, we have no questions from uh from games with Warcraft besides those three, so thanks for your joke questions. Those were entertaining and they took out quite a bit of time actually. Um which I needed to happen. Uh so anyways, thank you for your questions. Uh we have questions from Russ one two seven gaming he says also one more question since on the one hundred thousand block journey you answer questions after the series ends, will you do a Q and A series on your channel? I don't know. This has kind of been the Q and A series. Um I'll, st I'll I still accept 
I mean, questions are welcome in the comments anytime, and then uh, if I'm not going to answer them in a video, I'll usually answer them in the comments below. But yeah, I suppose after this, I could answer questions during the Terraria Let's Play and stuff like I like I did sometimes earlier in the in the Let's Play. Um, but yeah, I, I'll I'll figure something out to answer y'all's questions in videos. Uh, we're getting to the end of today. We should find a place to camp and press F. Three because today is day 20, which is a multiple of 5. So anyways, um, yeah, we've still got a bit of daylight left for us to walk, but let's hit up, uh, how much wool do we have? We only have 14 wool, so we should head over there, um, because those are the only sheep I've seen in a long time. Uh, let's kill these pigs and get these sheep so that we'll have all the materials we need to survive. Um, Okay, they'll regrow their wool. And these pigs are expendable. Oh, more sheep. No, he's he's already naked. Um So yeah, let's get some food. Alright, I don't see any more Okay, these sheepies are regrowing their wool. Looks like already, which is good. Um Okay. Yeah, let's let's create a shelter just in this little molehill right here. Uh, that we shouldn't create a mountain out of, but, um, yeah, so let's just dig in here, we'll get some more, we'll get some charcoal going with that birch wood so that we can have some more torches going, and we will also build ourselves a nice cozy bed, um, let's put this torch down, let's throw this out there, let's get a door and put it on, like that, and let's get our crafting table and furnace going, furnace. I don't know if we need the crafting table. I'll just put it up anyways. Um, the birch wood, and we'll have some of the oak planks for that. We have some more wool, so now let's uh, craft ourselves up a bed. Alright, so uh, we're ready to hit the snooze, but first we need to check um, how far we've come. So, uh, make sure we're facing east, which is this way. Uh, let's press F3. Da -da -da -da. My prediction was pretty close. Um, oh wow, we are way over the z-axis. We need to start heading back left. Um, I think if we head east, we need to head left to get the z down. Yeah, because the z is like five or minus five or something. It really doesn't make a difference. Five or minus five. But yeah, we need to start heading left some more. Um, and the uh, x-axis is at 42, it's almost 43,000, so my prediction is pretty close. If I could find some more, some more horses, and I could get another horse, that'd be great, because we'll make up plenty of ground in plenty of time. So anyways, um, now that we know where we are, let's hit the schnoz, schnooze, and, um, after I get a drink of water, we will continue, I'm going to break this bed. Because I don't believe that we will die. Um, although those are some famous last words. W w we'll see. It's unlikely that we'll die unless I'm stupid. But yeah, so um, torches. Let's take down this torch. We'll just take down this entire hobbit hole because we can do that if we if we so desire. Let's check these sheep to see if there's any more wool. Um, there's a creeper right there. It'd be a shame if he came and blew us up. Uh, yeah, there's some more wool. Uh, let's, let's attack this creeper and kill our first creeper. Um, do 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 He is dead. Nice, nice. Okay, uh, harvest the sheep materials, which is also called wool. Um, and we can continue on our way after we strip this one. Alright, oh, I see some more sheep over there and some pigs, so let's just get that real quick and then we will, uh, finally keep going. There's a creeper. It's Creeper in Sheep's Clothing. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Please don't blow me up. Okay, sweet. Uh, this one is gray. Uh, sheep, sheep, sheep. Plenty of plenty of wool, so we should be set for a while. And we can also sell these pigs to be set on food. Alright, so uh, let's continue on our way. We'll continue answering these questions that you guys have left me. Um, yeah, so... Uh, any sheep regrowing their clothes? Nope. Okay. We are good. Let's continue walking and we'll eat. Okay. Uh, more questions. Uh, question from Hunter Oreo. Okay. That is lava. Question from Hunter Oreo. Do you live in Texas because it seems like you like it? Yes, I live. Oh, hey, look at that. We've got some horses. 
We can make up ground now. There's some sugarcane back here. Let's grab that so that we can easily tame them. Um, so that, yeah, because it'll be a lot quicker. I should probably just keep sugarcane on me. Um, for that matter, so that I can easily tame horses. But let's get these horses tamed. Um, more horses is always good. That was really pretty, so I'm going to screenshot that and use that in the thumbnail instead of a creeper like I was just thinking of doing. All right, which of these ones looks faster? This one. This one does. All right. Um, let's give him some sugar until he likes me. Come on, like me. Like me. Like me. Like me. Dang it. Come on, like me. Oh, yes, we got it. Okay. He has good hearts. Uh, put on the saddle. Oh, he is slow. Slow, slow, slow. And terrible jumper. You are a terrible horse and do not deserve to live. Alright, let's, um, let's tame this one. Come on, tame it. Tame it! Tame the horsey. Tame the horsey. We need good speed. Oh, wait, that looks like we're going to hit water anyways. Um... Yeah, that's not worth it, because we're hitting an ocean anyways. So there were horses, but we can't take them. Um, yeah, I wish you could make the... I wish it... We need a lead. If we had a lead, we could have taken our horse with us. But anyways, let's get our boat. We will continue sailing. Remember to head left, because we're way over the... Way over the Z-axis. We're going like... ten. We went 10,000 blocks. If we could just not do that, yeah, that'd be great. Um, the gradual 10,000 blocks. But anyways... Questions, Hunter Oreo, yes, I do live in Texas, and yes, I like it a lot. I don't think there would be any other state I'd like to live in, because they all seem crowded or cold or different or don't really have an appeal to me. So, anyways, yes, I live in Texas. Yes, I do like it. Um, okay, Rush 120 cents. Okay, it looks like we read his questions out of order. He has two questions for us. Number one, what is your favorite game besides Terraria? Um, Kerbal Space Program, maybe, probably. Um, I really like Prison Architect. I've played that one more than Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, Kerbal Space Program is definitely my favorite game besides Terraria. I also really like, um, as I said, Prison Architect, Bro Force is good. Oh, oh, pretty much oh, most of the Devolver games are really good. Um, I like them. Bully is a really good game. Age of Empires 2 HD is a fantastic game. What else? Ace of Spades, I've played a lot. I actually really like it. Uh, War Thunder is a great game. Yeah, but my favorite game besides Terraria has to be... Skyrim sounds great. My favorite game besides Terraria has to be Kerbal Space Program. And number two, have you been to Six Flags in Dallas, Texas? I believe that is Six Flags over Texas. And after I get a drink of water, I'll answer that. Ah. Sorry, I've had so many drinks of water this time. I'm just very thirsty. Um, if... If the one in Dallas is Six Flags over Texas, then yes, I've been to it. And I rode the Texas Giant and the other roller coasters that are notable there. And it was quite a lot of fun. Um, but if it's a different uh, Six Flags, the only Six Flags I've been to is Six Flags over Texas. So if there are other ones in Dallas... What? How did, how did that break? Fix your boats. Wait. Is that the water reflecting on the sand? Oh my gosh. Dude. Shaders are cool. That might have just been a glitch, actually, but that would have been cool. Um, anyways. Yeah. Been in Six Flags Over Texas. It's quite fun. I like it. If you have the opportunity to go, you should go. I don't know how much it was, how much it cost, because I wasn't paying for it. I was going with some friends. Um, but, yeah. Um... And we have a question from Rock Fish Girl. Uh, I'm assuming you're a girl. She asks me, um, how long will the 100th episode of Terraria be? I'm planning to have it be an hour, at least. Um, it, it's definitely going to be an hour, probably, mostly. Yeah, it's going to be an hour. And in that episode, we're going to... What I have planned so far is a world tour, a fresh map download... Of course, um, a, a we're gonna kill all the bosses we've killed in the entire series um, again, just see if we can. So that includes let's see, Eye of Cthulhu, Brain of Cthulhu, Skeletron, Wall of Flesh, um, Wall of Flesh, King Slime. I believe we've killed yes, King Slime, Goblin Invasion, Pirate Invasion, 
uh, a wyvern, because that's a mini boss, uh, Plantera, Gollum, um, the twins, the destroyer, and Skeletron Prime, and then we will do the Pumpkin Moon again, maybe, I'm not sure, um, but yeah, it's going to be a fun, long episode. It's going to be great. And then there's going to be a special thing at the end that will remain a staple of the world to commemorate 100 episodes. So, it's going to be some fancy schmancy wiring that I'll do off camera uh, before the episode. So, yeah. Um, and then I'll finish the Metro. Oh, oh gosh. I'll finish a Metro a line so that it's easier to get around and before that episode so yeah it's gonna be fun it's gonna be an hour long hopefully and i'll see what i can do um where am i going need to head this way yeah um i don't know how much time is left so anyways that's all the questions we have for today thank you guys so much for your questions if you have a question feel free to ask it in the comments below and i'll answer it as soon as possible probably in the next episode of the 100,000 block journey Anyways, now we are continuing on our journey. Oh gosh, these squids are so close to our boat. There's a lot of them too. They are swimming right up at us. And if we hit one, it's bad news bears because our boat is broke. But whatever floats your boat, I guess. Um, yeah. Out on the open sea, just a man and his thoughts and his 3,850 subscribers. Whoa. So close to 400,000. 4,000, not 400,000. That'd be great. All right, 400,000 subscribers overnight. Get to it. Uh, yeah, so close to 4,000 subscribers. That's gonna, that's great. Um, the next special will be at 5,000 subscribers if I hit that, which I am hoping I will. Um, it, it'd be nice, too. Yeah, um, what did I talk about? Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Saw that movie the other day, uh, bought the Blu-ray, and started watching it again. It is a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, I highly recommend you um, rent it or watch it. I believe it's on Amazon Instant Video, um, so you can rent it there, but it is a fantastic movie. Michael Sarah's in it, um, April Ludgate's in it, uh, whatever her name is, Aubrey Plaza, that's her name, um... Some guy related to Michaela Culkin from Home Alone. Who else is in it? I'm picking up the disc right now because I have it on my desk. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people in it. It's really, it's a really great movie. Really fun movie. It's, oh, it's, to me it seems kind of similar to Beowulf in that there's Scott Pilgrim and, ooh, you're a funny looking bunny. I kill you for your meat. Um. To me, it seems kind of similar to Beowulf, and because it um, Beowulf takes place in kind of this dreamscape where you can do these really impressive things. And if you don't know what Beowulf is, it's uh, ancient classic literature, uh, fiction, fantasy story about guy. It's it's like your generic hero story, except it made the generic hero story sort of. Um, it's really good, and it's it's a fairly quick read. So I recommend you read Beowulf, but that takes, um, sorry, somebody just texted me, that, that takes place in kind of this dreamscape, and Scott Pilgrim kind of takes place in this video game where Scott can do these really impressive things to defeat Ramona's seven evil exes, and they have, like, superpowers and stuff, and it's really entertaining, really good fun. There's the seven evil exes, which are kind of like Grindel and Grindel's mom and the dragon that Beowulf fights, um... So, yeah, it, it's a really enjoyable movie. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World and Beowulf are both really enjoyable. But anyways, guys, it is nighttime. That means that we should make shelter. Um, I think that when we press F3 and see that we're around 50,000 blocks, or around 75 to 80,000 blocks or so, um, after, about, after we hit about uh, 80,000 or so, we should be able to just... Um, I think we should just be able to, uh, be able to press F3 whenever we want so that we make sure we are on course, um, with our journey. So, after we hit, I'll set it, for now it'll be at 85,000 blocks, um, and definitely after 90 we'll be able to do that. Why am I still walking? Um, 
yeah, we'll have to end off the episode here after I'm still walking. So anyways, guys, I'm just going to walk for a bit more as I do my outro. Um, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like the video, then you should like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them as soon as possible, probably in the next episode. Um, next episode of the 100,000 Block Journey will be next Monday, and tomorrow will be an episode of Trey Living Underground. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.